Hello and welcome back to Exothermic Plays Games. I'm Exothermic and the date today is Saturday, May 4th, 2024. I've been doing a countdown of my favorite video games of all time through each day of the year and coming in at number 242 is Pokemon Channel. In Pokemon Channel, you are delivered a special TV as part of a test audience for a new way of viewing television programs with your Pokemon. After a brief tutorial in which Professor Oak explains the TV to you, a wild Pikachu walks up to your sliding glass door and basically inserts itself into your life, with encouragement from Oak. Don't worry, nothing could go wrong. It's not like Pikachu would destroy your TV and then Oak would still be able to see and talk to you somehow, implying he's been spying on your bedroom the whole time. Certainly not that, because that would be weird. The gameplay itself has you exploring the Pokemon world a bit in complete slice of life fashion with your new Pikachu friend, and in that regard is definitely a spiritual successor to my 351st favorite game, Hey You Pikachu. Watch the news with Meowth reporting on the scene, a serialized drama show featuring the cast of the Pichu Brothers short that was featured at the start of the third Pokemon movie, and of course, the shopping network. You can earn money, most easily by playing quiz shows, and then spend that money to collect all sorts of stuff to be delivered directly to your door via Delibird. You can order furniture for your room, collectible cards, and bus passes. Once you have the bus pass to get to different parts of the region, you can head out into the world and make new friends with your Pikachu. You can learn a lot about different Pokemon through the game, and it's nice to just see them relaxing in their natural environment. If you talk to a Pokemon, you have to answer a trivia question about them. Get it right, and you'll get another collectible card. The gameplay here isn't exactly groundbreaking, but in regards to the Pokemon franchise, some of my favorite things are the more slice-of-life aspects of people just living their lives with their Pokemon. For example, many of my favorite Pokemon card arts are ones where they just exist in the world with their trainers, like a lot of the alternate art cards in the Sword and Shield or Scarlet and Violet sets. Unlike in Hey You Pikachu, there's no complex controls that you have to fight over, and there's a much wider variety of Pokemon friends for you to make, encouraging you to play even at different times of day. My biggest complaint with the game is that it doesn't actually take that long to run through all of the programming, so the actual TV part can wear its welcome out shorter than it probably should. I never thought I'd say this, but I wish they would make a modern version of Pokemon Channel as a live service game, perhaps with a small subscription even, and keep making TV content of cute little shorts in perpetuity. Join me tomorrow as I talk about the 241st game on my list, where I show up a little early to the rapture. <laughs> 